As you can see behind me, rice plating is pretty much done. So a couple weeks ago I put up a video of the straw being burned off of what is normally a rice paddy but was then a wheat field. And someone said they would love to see a video of the rice being planted. I would have loved to have set up my camera and recorded the whole field being planted and done a time lapse, but it actually was raining too much to do that. And if I'd done it that way, you'd actually miss out on the coolest function of the rice planter here. You can just see a little bit of the corner of one of the fields that was in the time lapse burning video. It looks a lot different now. It's totally flooded. There's a fair bit of work to do to get from the burning the straw stage to this final planted flood stage. So of course, as you've seen, burning off the straw comes first. I don't know if every field is finished because I did see people burning fields still just two days ago. Then either before or after the flooding, there's a bunch of fertilizing, which I didn't take any video of. But it's actually kind of neat to see because uh, there was a guy walking up and down the little levee-ish partitions between the fields with basically a gas-powered air blower on his back shooting fertilizer out into the field. Just flooding the field isn't enough though. Every field is processed, churned up, mixed with this piece of equipment that they drag behind the tractor and just slice up everything into a big slurry muck. Mix it all in, mix in all the burned straw, mix in all the fertilizer, and just get it really soft and mushy and easy to plant. And I guess easy for the rice's roots to go down into. It's not until that mixing is all done and it's a slurry muck that the rice planting can begin. Before they can plant it, they've got to start growing the rice, getting it to seedling height. Those are all started in these seedling trays, and they're all the same size, with good reason. They all have to be the same size so they feed nicely into the planter. I mean, this system has been worked out really well. There are special design racks that fit into the back of those little white farmer pickup trucks that are just everywhere here. You drive those racks out to the field, take this mat of seedlings out, and feed them into the back of the planter. There are even trays on the side of the planter to hold extra and then that planter drives along on some of the thinnest metal wheels you'll find around but I guess they have to be that way to cut through the muck with as little disturbance to the plants that have already been planted as possible and then it's just really cool to watch that planter go little like pincher things pinch off bits from the mat stick it in the ground move on and just just go like like a sewing machine it's really neat to watch in the back going like a typewriter is cool I want to try driving one I want to try planting some rice just because you know I grew up in and around a farm and I haven't done any farm work in ages. I wouldn't mind trying. Harvesting too. The smallest combines I've ever seen around here. So these rice plants are going to grow for I don't know how long. I have done a video of the rice being harvested before. You can find that if you want to. Uh, or I'll post a link in the description. I'm not sure exactly how long after now that is. These have just been planted. Right now there isn't a lot of water pumping, but once rainy season ends and it gets really hot, they'll be running water through here pretty, pretty constantly, keeping it nicely flooded. This field looks pretty unflooded actually. It needs a bit more water, I think, but what do I know? I'm not a rice farmer. But they don't stay flooded the whole time. Once they reach a certain stage of growth, and that growth really kicks off when you hit the uh, hot weather, they'll stop pumping water and it'll dry out because you really wouldn't want to try harvesting this stuff in the muck. Could be interesting though, but you'd never ever get that combine ever, out ever again, I think. So I hope you enjoy this rather agricultural version of I Live in Japan. Probably not many people's cup of tea, but maybe it's your bowl of rice. If you like what you see, click a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. If you'd like to support me in what I'm doing, there is a tip jar donations little button on the main page now. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Mark Visser, aka Sparkus. I hope to see you back here for another I Live in Japan very soon. One little note I forgot to mention, just kind of interesting, you can pretty much tell when a farmer is done doing his fields because beside the field, there'll be all the leftover seedlings he didn't use, often turned upside down and just dumped there. I guess everyone prepares more seedlings than they actually ever need.